Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, partners. Good morning, leaders. Welcome to CIG Sunday Night Live. Wow, I'm super excited today uh, because of the personality in the house and what we're going to get tonight. Uh, I won't be doing this tonight uh, again. Joining me to co-anchor tonight will be Oluwa Yomi Ute. Uh, she's the host, Knox to Nugget, and you can catch up with her on all the socials. Uh, she's the author of the book, A Slave by Choice. So you're welcome, ma. Thank you so much, Simply Said Son. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So tonight promises to be a great one. And please sit back, relax, open your minds, and uh, anticipate really you will get lifetime nuggets. I can assure you that. I can assure you. This personality is is one with an exception. So our topic tonight is motivation. And we have Honorable Duke Odukwe in our midst as our guest. Thank you for joining us. So I'm going to introduce our guest, Honorable Duke Odukwe, with his profile. Honorable Duke Adekoe is a graduate of business administration and management from Institute of Management and Technology Enogun. He is a star director with Language Bioscience International, who has qualified for a series of all expenses paid trips to different countries and has won car incentives and many more. He is the team lead of Unstoppable Eagles team. Duke is also an international businessman, the CEO of the following companies, Trinidad Resources, Music Apostle Records, Beautiful Look Clothings, Cosmetics, and Accessories. As a politician, he has aspired for one of the political offices in a state of origin, Anambra. Duke is a musician with the stage name Xerox and has featured in a lot of songs. His songs Champion and Payroll are currently gaining massive air plays and streams worldwide with over 11,000 streams on audio mark and T counting. He has worked with top artists like Fino and Wiz Boy back in the days. Also, he worked with the Nigerian Gas Company. He's an ex-banker with one of Nigeria's rep reputable banks. He is happily married to Ogechi and blessed with lovely children. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make a joyful welcome to Honorable Duke Odukwe, also known as Duke Rich. <laughs> Yeah, finally we got you back yeah, you. in our studios for your so life from your homes. Yes. You're welcome, honorable. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, Thank you so much. How do how does it feel? You you are not honorable, like kind of politician. Then you are into music. You do a lot. You have worked with Nigerian gas company. Now, what was the propelling force? What dro dro drove you into Longreach? Okay. Um, at the time, I've tried a lot of things in my life. You know, like I'm, I'm the kind of person that doesn't believe in staying at a place. I don't believe in stagnation. I believe in movement. You know, anything you are doing, just be focused, keep moving, and you get to your destination. So uh, what propelled me to join Longreach was, uh, there was one time, um, I was around 2013. I had issues with my business. I imported some things and it was, uh, it was seized you know, by the customs. And I had a lot of issues. And at that time, 
things were not going so well for me. I'm trying to, you know, to get those things out, but finally I have to forfeit. That that's me. Life goes on. Instead of so one day, me and my my account officer called me, invited me for a seminar. That was after some years. So she invited me for a seminar at KFC or where featured that featured them um, as the five Oluchi Abraham, you know, as the Magi and uh, as the Oni, my upline, and a lot of them. They came for that seminar. And when we got there, after 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 all the seminars, I told my wife that these people are criminals. Like I'll put my money, you know, because she was all as the Oluchi was telling us that that car downstairs that she got it through this platform. I was like, are you serious? You lie. I, I don't believe that. So when we were about going, you know, my wife said, let's um, buy a booklet. I said, I will not buy a booklet for 1000 He said, I can, I don't, I, I can spare 100 naira and buy a flyer. Then with that flyer, you know, I don't know, but let it just be we bought something. <laughs> <laughs> because if they scam me 1000 I might not be happy. So it's better I just lose 100 naira. <laughs> so we left. I left. So I gave my wife the flyer. She went to she kept on studying, studying, studying that flyer. You know, at the time she read it and keep it at the, at the pillow at her bed. You know, she keep on reading. At the time, there was one day she was like, there was one day she was like, um, that this flyer, that this flyer is whether this thing they are saying is true. She has to go and look for the flyer again. She collected it and she looked at it. She was telling me that let's try, let's give this business a try. Let's give it a try. So I said, okay, no problem. Let's let's give it a try. My account officer kept on disturbing us. And later she registered us. You know, I, I was not happy when I heard she registered us with her money. So after the time, I have to tell my wife to sell the products and give her back her money. Then I now started investing. That was how we joined the business. So, and since then, wow. this, the platform has been so amazing. Now, in what year was that? That was um, 20, uh, 2015. Okay, you had of it 2013 first, but yes. you finally signed up in 2015. No, I had, um, I had of it 2014. We later signed 2014. up. Okay. Of, yeah, that ending of 2014, right? 2015, 2015. Now, because... Like you had in mind that these people are scammers, and that if you had to yeah. lose hundred naira, it's okay for you than one thousand. Yes. Now that's like kind of calculating that if I want to, let me minimize my risk, uh, as it, uh, so to speak. Yeah. That was yes. it. But in the process, you are now motivated with what your wife suggested or advised. Yeah. Yes. Now the story is changed today. Yes. You are a star director as long as yes. uh, as with your wife also. Now, yes. as a politician, now how well do you manage to succeed in this business? Now we know that you are a busy person. Yes. And even with the music you do. So how well do you succeed with this business? For you to, like for me, it's better for you to fail, you know, originality than failing in imitation. Mm. If you want mm. to fail, it's better you fail in an original thing, like in an original company, than failing in imitation. So, because you have to be original. And another thing, you have to bring out time management. There's what is called time management. When you manage your time, like a masterminder, doing your skills as in one before your two, you draw out everything, working out perfectly. You have to count your one before your two. And place the right things at the right spots. You see things becomes easier for you. Yeah. yeah, because now it's not easy for me. Today, I, I, I went to Lagos on Thursday. I was at Enugu last weekend. I went to Anambra on Tuesday and I came back on Wednesday. On the Thursday morning, I took that flight to Lagos. I came back today. So I've not really been settled, but it's for you to bring out time. I say this seminar, we must must have you must so i must be here so there is nothing that will make me not to be here so i made sure that everything is in place that 
me coming to this place is not by mistake. So it all depends on you to determine the kind of life you want to live. You don't let someone plan your life for you. You have to take charge of your life. You have to be the one that is in charge of your life. You have to drive your life to the way you want it. If you want success, it depends on you, the way you drive, the way you are determined. Because determination is all about you making up your mind that you succeed. That's determination. So when you are determined to do something, you go ahead and do it. You don't let somebody to tell you what to do. So it's for you to succeed in anything you are doing. It's all about you bringing out your time and making up your mind that I must do this thing. If you want to succeed, it's you that will tell yourself that you succeed. Look, don't let upline or sideline or anybody plan your life for you. It's only you that will determine where you want to be in Long Beach. I want to be a star director. Yes, but you cannot achieve star director by sitting back and folding your arms. You have, to, you have to take charge of your business. You have to be the one that is in control of your daily business. You don't let your business run by people. You don't let people run your business for you. As a shop owner, for example, you don't you have to take charge. Like me, I have I have how many shops, I control them. I have to take charge. If I sit back at home without going there, before you know they will wreck the shops. So if you have to take charge of your business, you have to be the one in control. You have to tell them now, okay, I have come to control my business. I've come to control my destiny. I'm the one that will rule my destiny. I'm not to someone else. So it all depends on, you know, some people like in this country now, they will be complaining, things are bad. Yes, things are bad, quite all right. But some things you don't expect the president to come to your house and change your life up for you. Maybe your lights, you know, has issues. You'll be waiting for Buhari to come to your house and fix your lights. It's not possible. You have to be the man of the house. You had one to do those things. So you, everything in life is all about you, you know, taking charge and taking responsibility of the happening. Take charge of your life. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, many of these things you are saying, uh, they kind of resonate with many of us on this platform because yes. we've had series of guests come up and most of them will tell us, take charge of your business. You are the owner of it. Now you are bringing in from another perspective that is a personal thing to you. You've gone through series of stress, travel stress, business stress, and all that all through the week. But you still have it on the top of your mind that this seminar this night must hold. Yeah. Despite the fight of your busy schedule. Thank you so much, Honorable. We don't take your coming for granted at Thank all you. at all. And uh, we are just hitting us with those nuggets. Uh, I used to tell people when we come on this, and I don't know why I forget sometimes, is that when we have guests, people like you now, I'll tell them, I advise them to get their pie cup close. Because the words that will be coming will be heating up. So you better you yeah. take water to cool it down. So yeah. I will cool one. I've taken two parts now, I will cool that part. And hand over to Puiwai. <laughs> thank you so much, Simply Seton. Honorable, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. And in all honesty, you are breaking tables, you are shaking tables, you are shattering them, and you are hitting us with nuggets. And I've just been looking at, I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm, can you speak to the topic of today, motivation, in line with this long bridge business? I've heard you talk about prioritizing. I've heard you talk about taking charge of your life. I've heard you talk about owning the business. Where is motivation in all of this? Okay. Motivation as an as an aspect, as in line with long reach business. You know, sometimes you don't have to wait for motivational speakers to come and tell you what to do for you to succeed. Because I believe that success is not determined by luck. Mm. People, when they see you succeed, they say, ah, this guy is lucky. It's not lucky. You put in a lot of hard work for you to succeed. It's not determined by law. That's what I always tell them. So everything you are doing for you to succeed in this business, you have to be someone of value. Because mm. you are not paid for the hour, but you are paid for the value you are bringing to the organization. You are paid for the value you are adding to the organization or to the company or to your team. So if it's paying by hour, maybe I'll go to my house and I'll sleep for 24 hours and after all, they will pay me. But I'm not paid by the time or by the hour. I'm paid for the value I'm adding. 
for you to succeed in long reach, you need to be somebody of value. You need to build up a team. You need to work with your team. You need to add value to their lives because you cannot succeed without lifting. We rise by lifting others. We rise by lifting others. We, we rise by lifting other people. Yeah. Continue. Okay. We're talking about motivation, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. It all depends on you bringing value to what you do. You know, like another thing for you to succeed, you have to set goals. Goal setting is one of the um, things that will make you to be motivated and achieve success. When you set goals daily, Goals are what we set every day. And what is a goal? A goal is anything that have time frame for you to achieve. Mm. Like in the four match, it's 90 minutes. And if you like dribble more than JJ and you score after the 90 minutes, it's not a goal because the match have ended. So for you to succeed, you have to set up a goal. You know, a goal is anything that have time frame for you to achieve. So I want to be a diamond four in six months. It all depends on me setting that goal and working towards achieving the goal. I can't sit back and the goal will manifest because the distance between my dreams and reality is called action. So mm. I, have to, I have to put in action to it. I have to put in action for me to succeed in business. So if, for you to be motivated in long reach, there are a lot of things that long reach do that keeps you motivated. Like you have the travel incentives. We have the car incentives. We have the bonuses. We have, you know, we have a lot. We have the leadership bonus. We have, we have the star director SD bonus. We have the house incentive. Long Beach have come up with a lot of incentives to motivate you as a worker. Because incentives are the tips that motivate your staffs or your workers for them to do more. But when the, that type of incentive, they don't get it. It's not about salary. You can be paying them salary, but at the end of the year, maybe you do Christmas for them, you share a bag of rice. There are some things you do. Those things are called incentives. That incentive matters a lot because it's what we motivate them. Maybe I'm working overtime now. I will increase your salary for doing that overtime job for me. You will not end up getting the same pay with the person that didn't do overtime. So those little, little things matters a lot in business. Like in your team, there are some things you do for them too. Like company do promos too in our, in our organization, in our platform called Longreach. There's promos, buy one and get, buy two and get one. All these things will ginger them. There are things that will motivate the distributors to do more. Mm. Then um, rank advancement and um, payment and all that. Okay, bring, um, get to diamond for and so and so amount of money. Do this one. All these things are incentives. And all these things, all these incentives motivates the distributors to do more. Mm. Because if you love what you do, you don't need to be pushed. But the passion you have for that thing drives you. You understand? I hear you. I hear Hunger you. is good. Hunger is good, but it's when you know what you are hungry for. For mm. me, I'm hungry for success because I want to succeed. And my greatest fear is failure. Mm. So for you, to, for you to be okay, you need to, you need to have the desire, the hunger for you to achieve more in this platform because there are a lot for you to gain through long reach. You have a lot of things to gain. You have a lot of, the trips, it's not, if you talk about the trips, you stay in five-star hotels travel all around the world, all expense paid. You don't pay a dime. So these are things the company do for you that will motivate you to do more. Now there is Vietnam trip on now, promo on. If you want to go to Vietnam, all you need to do is to put in work and you achieve, you achieve your qualification and you can go to Vietnam, all expense paid. Your visa, your everything is covered. All expense paid by this platform called Language. So this company have a lot of things they do to motivate us, the distributors. I'm not talking about the Thursday bonus. That one is green Thursdays every day. My Thursdays are always green because it, after we work, we job. That's how they say. So when you work, you job. So you cannot step back and cross your leg and you expect green Thursday. You need to put in work. You need to put in work, you need to do, if you want to succeed, you need to do things that 
unsuccessful people didn't do. And the people that are not successful, the things they didn't do is what will make you succeed. Mm. Honorable, you you're so right. If you want to be that one percent that will make it 99% to be 100%, you have to be someone that is different. You have to Very come true. in, you have to be coming with a different energy so that when that your one percent matches with the 99, it becomes 100 percent. Very true. I want so, to take you on that before you go further, Honorable, okay. right on that, on what you said. You said something about motivation, two basic things. Number one, you need to motivate yourself. Number two, the company also motivates you. And maybe I hear number three, that you should motivate your team members. Honorable, in this journey, have you stayed motivated this last seven years? Have there been times you felt demotivated and how did you get out of it? Or you've just been up on the hill ever motivated okay there there are times you know and there was one time i got distracted there are like two years like a year i didn't do long which i got distracted along the line and i learned it the hard way mm. i went to, i did pause and i lost a lot of money i lost like more than eight million so the money i got i lost it to another platform so that one alone taught me a lot of lessons that any business that does not guarantee you your money for goods and services. When you pay in your money, you don't get goods and services in return. Better run from that kind of business. Because you cannot tell me to put in 2,000 and Paul will pay me 3,000. And at the end, Paul did not pay me that 3,000. My 2,000 will be stuck. Who is fooling who? So you better put it, that's, that one alone, you know, got me got me back on the track because that's why it took me a lot of time there was time i got distracted and everything along the way and my team members i was not even calling them to motivate them everybody got scattered i went i was pursuing ponzi and i thought money was in it that was mmm those days you know, and i lost a lot of money so that one taught me a lot of lessons and i learned it the hard way because i lost so how did how did you restart sir how did you restart because if I know how MMM works, you also are doing a sort of referral, even though yeah. you are giving no value for money. And then yeah. you got your fingers burnt and then you came back. How yeah. were you able to restart and build trust in people to follow you on in Long Ridge? Okay, well, when I was doing it, I didn't tell anybody, any of my team members to join me. What I do, I, I have to put in money in all my kids so that when they double the money, we have more money. So at the end, the money got lost. I didn't I didn't tell anybody to stop doing it. I didn't tell any. So my team, they were there. So when I learned it, they had where I came back and I started motivating them again. I started putting five. So, and we picked wow. up and start from there. But I don't want anybody to go and learn it the hard way. Why? Mm. Because reading a book is good. But when you read books, the mistakes, the author, that took the author years for him to learn. You know, you can learn it in one hour. If you're sure. able to, because that person have you know, tried it and failed. So you reading that book now, you've learned it just in one hour that such mistake, you, you shouldn't even do such mistake. Absolutely. So for everybody hearing, he said it, please don't do the mistake. It's better to learn from another person's errors yeah, than to error. go through it and learn it the hard way. He's learned yeah. it so that we don't have to learn it the hard way. But I'm still on this, sir. When okay. you came back into the business, before I turn over to Setan, how were you able to put back your team and get your team going? How are you able to, yes, you didn't tell them about MMM, but you went yeah. cold. Yeah. And so in going cold, definitely, some will have also gone cold with you. Like 3SD will say, is a monkey do monkey, uh, Monkey, monkey see, monkey do business. Monkey do so when business. you went cold, many of your members, your team members would have gone cold. What did you do nice. to jack it up? And how did you propel yourself to become the SD that you are today? When I came back, I came back like a um, hungry lion. You know, I was, the hunger and desire for success was too much. The, the desire to succeed was burning in me like fire. You know, I have to now put in all work. I have to start seminars. I have to start, you know, meetings, daily meetings, constant seminars, prospecting, phone calls. You know, I started doing 
a lot. It's not, it's not easy. I started doing a lot for me to put the business back on the track because uh, at the time I was like a train that derailed. But now I'm back again. So I'm trying to keep start the business. And it was okay because uh, at the time, you know, the momentum started building up. All my team members, they started, you know, doing what they are meant to do. Because I have to put in some things to, I have to set some incentives for them, for them to succeed. There are some things that I have to do you know, to make them believe in the business. Mm. So, over to you, Setan. So, as if I'm just enjoying everything, let it just flow. Okay, if you're enjoying <laughs> it, now, I, I'm now, not done. Now, now, I'm going to just be nice. <laughs> Okay. Now let's let me just based on what you you said about Ponzi, but yeah. let, let me just like like uh like a short break. Uh I okay. don't know. We're going to post this if the YouTube would not post it. Well, let's see. I want to share something. <laughs> Life that of, was exactly that was exactly the mindset. <laughs> so the because greed I, I and everything. And it was growing. Mm. <laughs> At the time, I put in a lot, and everything so, went. <laughs> and and the funniest part of it is that some of those that we want to encourage you to do things like that, we tell you that uh, the higher the risk, the bigger the returns, yeah, and all that. Yeah. So you tend to say that okay, ah. Uh, I've done 20,000 before. Now I can double it. That. Let me do 40,000 since I've been given. So by the time you do for, and it's just more or less like a gambling. And yeah. um, well, yeah. God will help us. Thank you for motivating us. Now, okay. what were some, apart from this, that you stopped for one year, you went into Ponzi, but in the Long Reach platform, what were the challenges you faced? Okay. And how were you able to come out of those challenges that encouraged your team? Okay, at the time, not all of all of my team members um, started, and some dropped along the way, some stopped working with me. But what I believe in, you know, who wants to succeed, wants to succeed. For those that want to succeed, you know, I, st I have to start working with the people that, is, that wants to succeed, because not everybody that have the desire and hunger for success. And for me, for those that say it cannot be done, they shouldn't interrupt those doing it because there are people that are willing to do the business. So if you that is sitting back and saying that it cannot be done, you shouldn't interrupt the people doing it because there are people that a lot of people are willing to do it. So some got discouraged and they stopped working. That are some of the challenges I face. But I have to go all out, start recruiting new people. You know, I have to start recruiting new, new people. I started working with the team members, the few that, that wants to, to do the business. So that was how we started doing a lot of meetings, bringing in different people into the business, prospecting and all that, making out our prospect mm -hmm. lists, you know, calling them on phone, you know, start doing some things to make sure we try to get them and tell them about the business. And another thing, don't just be someone that recruits, be a sponsor. A sponsor, mm. when, you sign, when you sign in somebody, don't just leave the person. You be the sponsor, you take charge, you take care of that person like a father or a mentor. Because when you when you sponsor, you are like a mentor to that person. So you hold the person's hand till the person gets matured in the business. Because when you sign the person and leave the person, the person might not know where to go. The person is just like a newborn baby. 
that have not started walking. So we have to nurture the baby till the baby start crawling from crawling, the baby will be walking from walking, the baby will start running. So we take charge of it. Don't just be someone that recruits, be a sponsor. So if you are signing anybody, be a sponsor. The sponsor means that you are the mentor of that person. You are the person that brings, brought the person to the business. So when you recruit only and leave the person, you know, everything we go on. So make sure you work with them because team, T-A-M means to get everyone at Chief Small. I know a lot of people know about it, but it's that togetherness, you know, that makes you to achieve more. Because if you want to go far, if you go with people, if you want to run fast, you can run fast, but you get tired along the line. So you need people for you to, mm. you need people to succeed. This business is a business of people. You know, the business even have to change my mindset. Like when I see people around me, I see them as a potential prospect, as a potential partner that I'll come in. Anybody that comes around me is a potential prospect. I go, I talk even in the boss. Every, anywhere I am, I have to talk about my business because you have to let the cats off the path. You know, some people will carry their business and put it in their pocket. There is no way people will know you are doing this business, except when you talk. Mm. Because when a close yeah. mouth is a close destiny, some people will be there, they will pack their, their toothpaste and everything. They will come to a shop or an office, they will stay there, and they will still go with that product without telling people there around them that, please, I have this product. One or two persons might get interested and they will sign up. So it all, it's all that. So it's something that you know we need to talk because the business is a business of referral. And referral is all, everything in life now is all about referral. Even the churches do referral. These schools, they do referral. You see school, they pay if you bring somebody to their school, they will reduce your school, your children's school fees. Everything now is all about referral. Even in politics the, too, it's referral. The banks, you have to, the banks you have, have to, gone to, to that now. Yeah. And to give you to under there. Yeah. <laughs> if you bring <laughs> if you bring people to open business, to open accounts, there is some money they yeah. give you. Is it so, the reward points? Yeah, it's all it about worth. referral. Even in politics, too, is referral. There are sometimes you have to go to INEC and they'll give you the voters <laughs> register of the people that is voting in that book, the photocopy. So from there, you see their pictures and you know them. So all you need to do is start going for dot to dot campaign. There's what you call dot to dot campaign. You go to all their doors and tell them when voting, look at where you are, look at where I want you to vote. All these things are things you do. You know, for you to succeed, there are some things, <laughs> some skills you need to bring out for you to be successful. You, know, you don't just sit back and uh, expect wow. everything. Be Thanks so much. With, with this, or your experience over the years, past seven years with Longridge, what's your take on Longridge business plan? Longridge business plan. Longridge business plan. Longridge has the best compensation plan for me and the best business plan so far. Because they have a lot of, um, if you see the company, the company itself has feature. They have the, they have a bright feature. Check out when we started the business in Nigeria. There was nothing like a Lakey Baby factory. But along the line, the company has to come together and construct a seventeen million dollars factory in Nigeria, here in Lagos, which have started production. The two places produced in Nigeria. So all these things are. When you see, when you have to, you have, it takes the inner, it takes the inner eyes for you to see great opportunities. It doesn't take the eyes; it takes the inner eye. It takes the heart for you to see great opportunities. You might have a big eyeball, but when opportunities come to your front, you might not see them. It takes your mind for you to see great opportunities. So, like in Long Beach, I've seen their potential because I've been to China a lot. We've been to China. And, Almost just last since COVID, that was when we've not been to China. Ask my SD, okay. Maduro, you tell you. We've been to China a lot. So we've seen the company. The company is situated in 2,800 hectares of land in Jiangsu district. So a company that is situated in this kind of a facility, do you mean coming to Nigeria? They are coming to play. They cannot, they are not company that will fall today or tomorrow because they are global company. And it's not just that, we saw how the owner of the company started. He came from a poor background, but the poor background he came out from did not 
determine his success. It did not on, um, keep him from not succeeding or make him not to succeed. You know, he started as a carpenter. If you go there, you see his chisel and everything, well packaged in a glass in a museum where he started, how he started. He kept those tools. From carpentry, he went into um, farming. From farming, he now went into cosmetics. And now, this is the Long Ridge brand in Europe today. Chairman Zuzuwe. So he's a visionary chairman that has vision and he's expanding. Like last time we went 2019, he noticed that there is high, um, high um, demand for their products. He went and employed more than 20 companies to help him source raw materials. That's the kind of company we are talking about so that he will not run, off, run out of raw materials that he's using to produce. Those people will get help him get the raw material, then long which you use the raw material to produce what they are producing. So this is the kind of company we are talking about. Now, based on that, his visionary is bringing, for him to have even accepted the, the urge to even do this business. Now, several lives, thousands yeah. have been affected, now getting to millions all over the world been affected by long reach. Now, I remember when Therese and I were talking and talking about you, you not told me about some things about you that you actually stayed together while you were in China. And yes. you were trying to tell yes. me how well you are loaded. Now, this is what I want to say. Now, he used his house strength to sign up on long reach. Somehow yeah. your wife motivated you to join long reach. Yeah. Now, we are on this platform now. People have connected around the world. We have uh, people here from the US, we have from Spain, we have all over Africa on this platform this night. Now, what do you say about relationship in this business? This business is a business that helps you build relationship because it makes people that you don't know before become your friends and brothers and sisters. It's a business that keeps on uniting people. Like me, I have a team in South Africa. I don't know them before. It's through this long reach platform. I have a team in Mozambique. So this business keeps on uniting people. There is what there is one, there was one team they used in Long Reach in China. We went, that was 2018. One Africa, one dream. One Africa, yeah. one dream. So everybody, you know, it's something that will unite everybody because everybody has the common dream, and their common dream is to succeed. Because there is one quote the chairman used to say that everybody dreamt of success. But it's only few people through their persistent pursuit and consistency that succeed by joining this platform that gives them that uh, right for them to be successful. I hope I'll be in China very soon. PY has been yes, in you China. Are. You are. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and and this one. I need to tell you, Shesha. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah tell you, Shesha. And yeah. some people have even said my my name looks like a Chinese. Maybe I will yeah. not put the end so that I can get the visa on time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Honorable Py. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, sir. It's it's an interesting journey, and hearing you how you left, you came back, you building. It's quite motivating. But I'm wondering, your wife gave you the pamphlet. Are there products that make you more comfortable doing this business? Or are you just doing the business because you're enjoying the money in it? No, there are products that-, that Or is it both? There are, yes, there are products. Long Reach have more than 2,000 products globally, but less than, 150 in Nigeria. So long reach products are superb. The efficacy of their products speaks for itself. Like I like the charcoal bamboo soap. My wife loved the toothpaste because in the house they used to have um, this tooth uh, problem. So at the time when we joined long reach and she started using our multi-fed toothpaste, all these things become, become um, a story of, becomes something that the story of the past. Then when we talk about the charcoal bamboo soap, what I love in it is the way they produce it from the Chinese bamboo. This soap is a soap that's made from Chinese bamboo stick. Then they, 
the skin you see today has pores where the hair is come out from. And when, when they burn the, the, the bamboo stick to get the charcoal, you know, when you are burning something, it gives out carbon. So that carbon there is being trapped in production of this particular soap. So what carbon does, carbon is a micro death cleanser that goes into the pores of the skin to cleanse the death inside. Then the soap has coconut oil, which moisturizes your skin. Then the bamboo there, which is the charcoal, is a cleansing agent. So that's how the soap works. The soap is very effective and that's what I love using. Then when you talk about the, the toothpaste, the toothpaste is a fluoride-free toothpaste that doesn't have zili, um, doesn't, doesn't have fluoride. Instead of fluoride, long reach use zilito and sobito to produce this particular toothpaste. This toothpaste is one of the best because it doesn't have fluoride. And too much intake of fluoride causes a lot of things like fluoriosis. So it's better you use a toothpaste that is fluoride free. Instead of fluoride, you use it too. And it also contains white tea, so white tea extract. And it's a multi-effective paste, toothpaste that doesn't, it's not just for brushing. You can use it to take care of skin bones. You can use it to take care of rashes. You can, it has multi-function. So why sometimes when people will be asking you, why is this toothpaste so expensive? You have to tell the person that this is not an ordinary toothpaste that you see in the market. This toothpaste doesn't have fluoride. Kids from two years and above can use this toothpaste comfortably. So that's why I love the toothpaste. Then in terms of the alkaline cup, which my leader has here, cup is one of my best products. Cup is a must have for every home because what kind of water do you take? Are you drinking acidic mm. water or drinking alkaline water? This is a question for everybody. You know, because the company, all this water company, all some of this water we drink contains acid in the sense that the chemical they use in treating this water, like the chlorine, contains heavy metals, which is not good for our skin and um, our system. So when you take, when you use long reach cup, it helps you to detoxify the acidity because too much intake of acid sometimes you make your body to go to a stage what we call acidosis. Acidosis, when acidosis mm. is taking place, is when your skin, when your body is filled up with acid. And during that time, a lot of diseases can come in, like the cancer, the ulcer, and all that can come in. What is something, one of the symptoms is heartburn. And when you are having heartburn, what do they tell you to take? They will tell you to take antacid. Antacid means anti-acid, acid. which will help you to reduce the hyperacidity. So when you take water from this cup, this cup now detoxifies that acidity. And it's not a rocket science. The cup is made from tourmaline gemstones that is embedded at the top and at the bottom of that particular cup. What those gemstones does is to turn water to alkaline. Gemstones is every is, is part of our daily life. You go to the springs, the stream, you see those little, little pebbles and stones there. When you are staying there and breathing in and out, what you are passing there is anion exchange because you see the kind of air, you feel refreshed. You know, early morning, if you go to the stream, you understand what I mean. So these things are what this company, because this company believes in research. We don't just produce anything. Most of the things we do goes undergoes research for us to produce it. So this particular cup is not is it's not it's a must have for every home because most of the things we eat contains an acid, like the the carbon the soda we drink, like the all these fizzy drinks, they are acid. Some people that um, smokes all these things brings um, free radicals to the system, like the smoking, the drinking alcohol, and all that. All these things introduces free radical. To the system and the normal body pH of a, of a human being is meant to be between 7.8 to 7.9. So, when you take those things, it reduces your body pH. Like the beer is 4.8 at the 4.5. So, when you drink all these things, that is not meant too much intake of antibiotics, too. All these things brings free radicals to the system. And how do you eradicate these free radicals by using an alkaline pipe of long pH to use it to detoxify yourself? 
and keep wow. yourself. Wow, I, I said clapping for you because doctor, not only did doctor, you tell us the products you love, because doctor, doctor you the science behind them. Dr. Otto Warbeck said in 1935 that a cancer cannot dwell in an alkaline body. So when your body is alkaline, there is no way cancer can come in. Also cannot True. come in because you are alkaline. Wow. Body is alkaline. Thank you so much. You know what tripped me and why is that clapping? Not only did you tell us the products that you love, you could tell us the science behind I, the product. If I start talking about products, you love know, like the cashew. I love cashew. I, I think I want to pause you on this product, sir. Otherwise, you'll get into a product I love, test. I love, I love cashew a lot. Cashew is one of the best products. Everybody that is alive needs cashew because we have skeleton, and skeleton is the bony framework of the body. So if you are boneless, you cannot stand. And for your skeleton, is made of bones. So these bones need cashew for it to work properly. And as 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 female too, female too also needs calcium, like the mothers. When you are pregnant, the fetus in the womb also absorbs some calcium from the mother during formation. Even when they are breastfeeding too, they are losing calcium. That's why in the long run, some of these old women, if they are not able to replace the calcium they've given out, they start having rheumatism, arthritis, and tiny bone, all those things during old age, waist pain and all that, all this grandma mind in the village, that's a problem. But when you give your body enough calcium to be able, your bones will be able to carry your body even at old age. Then for the male too, that our calcium is not an ordinary calcium. It contains calcium, magnesium, and um, iron, magnesium, and zinc. And one of the major causes of prostate is lack of zinc. So for you to top up your zinc value level, you need to have our calcium need to take our calcium just today you need to chew it too it helps to improve it's a supplement that helps to boost your zinc level because most of the food we eat in this part of the country doesn't contain zinc so that's why the calcium is a good supplement and zinc and iron too iron too helps you in getting energy so this particular product is a must have too for everybody kids wow. from four kids and above can chew it comfortably Permit me to call you Honorable Dr. Duke, because not only did you tell us about the products, you told us the science behind the product, why we need them, and what we get but, from them. Thank you so much. You just killed it for the PY, products. But before PY, I give it to you, okay, sir. PY, PY, I don't want to cut the flow, but you know, at times, I will, after the presentation, I will want people to clap, but I just, they, they are itching to clap. Let me unmute them to clap. Because if we were in a physical meeting, it, the clap will have, no, no, let me just, this is, this is, I'm, the way it took the bamboo carbon so I'm not part of it. Wow, wow. Dosk, 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 dosk. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Wow. That is Dr. Honorable Dr. Duke. And that was simply fantastic. I appreciate what you said earlier. We just demonstrated it. That in this business, you must be ready to sell value. So you're not just selling products, you're not selling a company, you are selling value. But I want to take you back a bit to what you said in response to Simply Seton about relationship building. In this business, I hear people tell me, I don't have friends. I don't know anybody. I've exhausted all my friends' list. I'm stuck. How can you be unstuck in this business? Yeah, I tell as a human being, you must have attitude. Attitude is the engine of every human being. Like, if you don't have the right attitude, you will not function well as a person. But when you have the good attitude, it makes you to function very properly, correctly and properly. Because in the for let's use a car for instance, when the engine is not fine-tuned, there's no way that car will work appropriately. But when the car, the engine, the engine is good, you see the car speeding and all that without any problem. So some people you need to change the kind of attitude you have. You know, a lot of us have them um, at, at some have attitude problems. Not just that, some you know they cannot talk to people. They felt you know, they are pompous about it. they are they are they are kind of a snob. How will I bring ego? Ego too is part of it. 
you know, how will I let myself down now talking about these things? How will I go and sell this to somebody? How will I do this? How will I, how the old big boy like me, how can I do that? They will, they will be think the ego there is too much. But if you can drop your ego, you see yourself mm. succeed. Because even in the Bible, the, Jesus talked about the attitudes. The attitude is all about the attitude. It's all about attitude. Too. When he was teaching the disciples, he was telling them about attitude. That's why you wrote the attitudes. So all these things are things that you that will help you to succeed in life. When you, some people are not uh, grateful, there's there, you can there is nothing you can do for you can do for them that will make them to be grateful. So all that one to gratitude to matters. So all these things, so, so we tell you that their upline is this, their upline is that. You know. But it's not what we are talking about today. It's all about you, you know, bringing out yourself to do this business, to serve. Some are not ready to serve. They can't bring themselves down. They will say, ah, do you know who I am? Do you know this? Do you know that? I'm a this, I'm a that. You have to bring yourself down for you to achieve what you want. Sometimes they say if you go to Rome, you behave like Romans for you to get what you want. So if you want to sell your part, for instance, you need to channel your energy towards like where there is female hostel or where there are students that are in need of that particular product. You can't carry your part and go to a male hostel to sell. It's not going to work. At the end of the day, you come back and tell me that you didn't sell any because the male, they don't use pad. What are they using pad to do for sanitary napping? So you need to channel your energy to the right source. When you get in plug, when you get yourself plugged into the right source, you see this, the, this, the energy to be flowing. So for you to succeed, you don't need to, they will tell you that they don't have you to talk to. But if you tell them to open their Facebook, most of them have more than 3,000 friends on Facebook. And yet they will tell you they don't know who to talk to. Have you have, have you dropped something about Long Beach and the 3,000 read it and none of them got interested? You, mm. Okay, get, let, let me have your phone number. Some have more than 500 numbers on their phone. And yet they will tell you they don't know who to talk to. Can you create a broker's list, then drop message there on daily basis and none of them got, got interested to sign to join you? If it's three that joined you, three must get interested or two. When the two bring their own three and the three from that two bring their own three, you see your business expanding. Mm -hmm. Or if you keep on complaining, because there's something I know that if you want to do something, you have to drop your excuses. If you really want to do something, you find a way to do that. But when you have a hand full with excuses. There is no way you will be able to do that because in your mind already you started seeing yourself as a failure. You've started seeing yourself that you cannot do it. Like how I can't do it is not the type of business I do. But it all depends on nobody plans to fail. But when you fail to, to plan, you fail. So you have to you have to you know bring out yourself all out. You know go all out for you to achieve what you want. There are, there are social media there. There are things there that you can use to get your prospects. It's not about going to talk to people, but there are some things. There is a way you do advert and come, be consistent. Don't be like a farmer that mm -hmm. goes to work today and next one year, the farmer will not be in the farm. When the farmer comes, gets back to the farm, you see that wheat, wheat, uh, wheat have started growing around the crops. So be like a farmer that goes to work all the time. Some they will put something on Facebook, and when somebody wants to ask, maybe someone asks how much is that your product, they are not there to answer because they are maybe they are out of Facebook or they are out of data. So you have to be consistent. Maybe somebody else will now go and reply that person and start talking to the person about the business. Then you've lost the person. So it all depends on you. You have to be consistent with your business, no matter what. You have to be consistent. Keep on coming out every day. About, talk about your business. You know, use your social media platform. Use your WhatsApp. In WhatsApp, you can create a broker's list you know, of all the numbers of your prospects. You know, add them there and drop a message there. That message gets to all of them every day. And there is no way two or three or four or five people won't get interested to join you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Over to you, Simply Set Tom. 
basically uh, I'm this. I the, there is an adage in Yoruba that say you don't stay afar to know someone. Now, having followed the three IZ for quite a while, and as a leader, and as I'm as one of his mentees, I could read his mind now as I'm talking now. I can read his mind, and his mind is that. What we've done tonight is not enough. We are going to have part two of you. <laughs> I will read this mind. And I'm so sure about there is no private message. There is nothing. Now, we've seen that you're loaded, and we don't allow people like this of your caliber to go away like that. It's not possible. So Thank we know you are very busy. We will give you a breathing space. Maybe we'll give you like two or three months. You okay. will come back. Okay. But that one will now be like a full force. Thank you so much, Honorable. It's really, 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 it's been awesome for I this really session. Am. We feel like continuing, but we don't want to overshoot more than necessary. Yeah. Now, yeah. let me make you to do something. And if you can do it for us in five minutes, it would be nice. I want you to go through the long reach compensation plan. And I will share this slide for you just to follow. And you just speed it up for us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. A long reach. A long reach. We have, we have um, five types of bonuses. We have the retail order bonus. We have the repeat order bonus. We have um, the development bonus. We have the leadership bonus. The, we have the performance bonus. These are the five types of bonuses paid in long reach. Then we have the travel bonus too. When the account comes in as travel incentive points if you're a diamond four and above. Then we have the car bonus too that comes from diamond six and above. Then we have the house bonus that comes from diamond seven and above. So the educational bonus too comes from star, star, um, star director. So we have all these things like the, um, like for you to be a member of this platform, you don't need to pay any registration fee. All you need to do is the purchase of the products, which makes you a member. And we have the um, PVs. PV means the product value or the point value. Like for you to come in as a starter combo, you need to buy products worth 14,000, which comes in as a starter combo pack, which is four PV. And anybody you bring in in that package, the company pays you 3,000. 900 for each of them. So after that, we have the, the, the Q silver. Q silver means quarter silver. You purchasing products worth 60 PV. You know, you become a quarter silver member and you earn 8% of your bonus on a weekly basis. Then after this quarter silver, we have the silver. The silver package is you buying products worth 120 PV. You become a silver member. You also earn eight percent of your network. Then after that, you have the gold, the gold package. When you purchase products worth two hundred and forty PV, you become a gold member and you earn ten percent of your network. Then after the gold, you have the platinum. The platinum is you buying products worth seven hundred and twenty PV, and you earn twelve percent bonus of your network. Then after that, we have the VIP. The VIPs are like the big boys of this business. What they do is to purchase, they are like shareholders too. They purchase product worth 1,680 PV and they become a VIP. But they also earn 12%. But have you asked yourself, why is the platinum earning 12% and the VIP earning 12%? There is a difference because as a VIP uh, member, you, the company also pays you 1% of the company's global profits given to the VIP members on a monthly basis. We drops them into their quarter as VIP incentive points, where one point is equivalent to $100. So um, there is it's not a must that you start as a VIP. There is what we call upgrade. Like when you come in as a quarter silver, I don't want to be a quarter silver again. I want to be a silver. All you need to do is to buy extra 60 PV of your system. Making a 60 plus 60 is 120. You become a silver member and you also earn 8%. Okay, I don't like being a silver. I want to go to gold. All you need to do is to buy extra 120 PV 
added to your 120. 120 plus 120 is 240. You become a gold member and you earn 10%. I don't want to be a gold, I want to be a platinum. All you need to buy extra 480 PV added to your 240, making it 720 PV and you become a platinum member and you earn 12%. Then you don't like the level of platinum again. You want to be a VIP, which is the highest of the entry level in the business. All you need to do is to buy extra, extra 960. You need to buy extra 960 PV added to your 720, making it 1,680. You become a VIP member. That's how it goes, and end 12% plus 1% of the company's global profit. In long reach, there is no, there is no um, targets. Overtaking is allowed, no pressure. You grow at your own pace. Growing at your own pace doesn't mean you go and be sleeping and become a diamond one for one year. You need to, you need to put in work and make sure you change rank because it's achievable, and you have a lot to gain when you are climbing the ladder. So no monthly uh, mandatory purchase. Um, you have freedom, buying freedom. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Let me just flip then all you need the, to do is to introduce three the people. countries. Yeah. yeah, the three people. You only need all the company needs from you is getting three people involved, you know, in the business and let that three teach them duplication. Let them duplicate themselves the way you do and you start getting the benefits. You are in different countries. You are in 180 countries around the world. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable. Doctor has been added to your name. So, <laughs> Honorable <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Thank you, God. Okay. Um, Thank you. Um, so, so, I just wanted to remember the uh, your stage name now, Z... Zerex. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. So when you come to the entertainment stage, you become Zerex. When you come on Long Bridge, you become Dr. Duke Rich. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for honoring us. We don't take it for granted. And we are thanking you in anticipation of when you coming back as well. No now, before I call on the 3 SD. You are in no worry. And uh, I know I've seen him on this call this night before. Uh, Iberi is here. I will want Christopher Iberi to come up to actually say a few things about you in like two minutes to how you've, how you've scattered and you've garnered uh, audience in uh, Oweri. And uh, I think I will visit Oweri again. I've visited Oweri twice. <laughs> But I think I, I will visit Oweri again. I can't just come across you people online and not see you physically. It's not possible. It's not possible. Yeah. Uh, this is a barista that made his uh, law business side also. Yeah. And I've made long reach yeah. Yeah. in me also. <laughs> yeah. yes, 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 yes. So we can't hear you. We can't hear you well. I'm very, very happy to be here tonight. Tonight is a very special because um, SD Duke is not just a, a, an SD, a long beach SD in a way. If not for SD Duke, I can boldly say, I don't think Barista Christopher Kelechi Berry will be a long beach member. I can boldly say that because when I joined the business, SD3 was in Lagos and I was in a way. And uh, when he introduced my mom and myself to the business, it took me three months before I decided to see, okay, let me even, let me even hear, because I actually shut my ears about network marketing. I told myself I wasn't going to do network marketing anymore because of my experience in my previous company. So um, as the three just told me that, okay, let me just attend one seminar and see if I will learn one or two things. And he actually spoke with as the um, Duke. Um, as at that time, the Duke and his wife, they were still there, were several members in Long Beach in 2019. And I went to their office for that seminar. Just, I went to recalcitrantly or hesitant. I wasn't really moved. I said, let me just go and see what they have to say. And uh, to be sincere with you, I'll tell you, 
that to get a lawyer on this platform is not based. You need to be personally developed and you need to know your onions in this business. And as the Duke was incredible and incredible, not just in terms of personal development, but someone who is humble. You know, so I know in, in this business, you meet a lot of people who are too full of themselves. But as the Duke is awful of himself and he was just breaking it down. I remember if you would, if you would um, confess, I actually, actually came to his office the next day after that seminar. I was yeah. asking him. It's true. <laughs> he was bombarding me with questions. <laughs> As you know, I asked him how far authorship because I was used to authorship back then. So I was asking him how does he work. Asking him, asking. If I, I asked to say that as at my second day in business, I knew about thirty PV. That's to show you how much interrogation <laughs> I interrogated him, and he was able to. Even though he wasn't my offline, he wasn't. I wasn't joining his network, but he was able to open up and tell me what his business was all about. And that was more or less like a second confirmation after year for the three SD. So this is a lesson to everybody. Listen, so people before they join the business. They need exposures so that you send somebody message on WhatsApp or you drop the business, uh, you drop maybe one or two voice notes about the business. Doesn't necessarily mean that the person will join. Sometimes let them go for a seminar, let them have a second opinion, let them hear from somebody else. If as a three just relied on his son that I'm an SD, uh, I believe this guy should should know about the business. If I'm not convincing him, he should get out. I would have joined Love Bridge. But he went for that to call, contact Mr. Duke and say, please, I want these people to come to your office for this seminar. And today, I mean, they're for five members in Long Beach, courtesy of this SDs talking to me. So I'm very, very grateful as the Duke for contributing <laughs> to my uh, being a Long Beach partner. And also for today's um, meeting, you've been incredible. In short, your, your development is, all, is top notch. You understand? You're, you're always improving anytime I hear from you. And I, and I appreciate you for coming on this call. And just like Peter Seton said, we look forward to hearing from you the next time, right? And I believe that period, self, not just Pike Up, we need it. We need berry oil too for, for the bread to be ginger. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. Wow. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, you have two, two minutes extra, and I'm going to collect 20 PV for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll call on uh, our 3 SD. Uh, is the author of the book Made in Worry and uh, the founder of Emmanuel Eduro Foundation. I will call him to appreciate our guests and to say some few words. Although I came in late, I want to say the chief himself. I do it. I do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for managing to trap you and um, getting you to actually come to give us um, what you have just done today. I, I know what you can do because I know your content and you are so diverse. That is one good thing about it. You know, when I remember we have spent more time in China than in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> because, because here in Nigeria, we are too busy, but when we meet in China, yes. we have enough so time, have time. Yes, to, to do things. But when I listen to your talk, I must say, this is something a whole lot of people missed out today, especially those who did not show up. It's so unfortunate that what is making many people not to go to progress in this business is exactly where you hammered on, and majority of them were not around. The good thing is that we upload it in the YouTube where they will go and watch it later and listen to what you have said. Let me reiterate one or two. The first one I heard, in fact, I was, I was driving, I was listening. The first one I heard was, when you go out to visit people, talk with people, do you just gist and go? No, you don't hide your business. A close mind is a close destiny. Yeah, look, oh, I, I deal on this, I deal on this, not a crime. This is what this does, this is what this does, this is what this does. Introduce them to what you sell. Don't start with network marketing. You, you nailed it there. You know, now you went for that to talk about attitude in building relationship. Attitude, the engine of life. You know, these are very, very vital points in marketing. I truly appreciate these marketing tips that you dropped. 
this is fantastic is uh, is something that i my heart was overjoyed because when you know what you are doing it is difficult for people to you know to outsmart you or to talk you down you have a good knowledge of your product you have good concept about marketing these are things needed in the business our business moves only on knowledge without knowledge you can whether you are speaking english or not doesn't matter but understanding what you know a woman that does not speak english only speaks a dialect knows she's taking paracetamol yes. and when she needs it and where she to get it she knows so it's the same thing communication can come in any form but what matters is do you know what you are doing i thank you so much the west cannot express our thanks for what you have just done we believe that uh, in the when you are settled because this one we are so scared that we we'll miss you whether the flight has landed i was in fact they were troubling me <laughs> I, my bp was <laughs> i don't have bp i don't want to have bp <laughs> you know so I uh, thank you so much. I appreciate and sorry for the inconvenience also, oh, but we are doing it to promote the brand. Yeah. You know, you yes. have done a whole lot. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. you. The entire CIG Global appreciates you. From all parts of the world, they are watching, they are listening. And I believe that they have learned one or two things. You know, thank you so much, my leader, my chief, honorable, and my gentle SD. These are the people that make the men in the business, in the industry to try. You know, we are grateful. And for all the leaders that are here, please try as much as possible. Come with your team members. Come with your team members. Come with your team members. It's very important. Please, my wonderful regards to Madame. Is she nearby there? Is she no. nearby? No, okay, please really pass my regards. Pass Thank my you. regards to her. We appreciate. Thank um, you. God bless you. Thank you so much, my All friend. right. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable. We can't thank you enough. PY, uh, your last words before he leaves. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Honorable Dr. Duke, thank you for the value you brought to the table. And we always will appreciate 3SD for making this happen. Thank you for keep, you always show us where the stones are placed so that we can always walk on, on water. And so until next week, Sunday on CIG Night Live, here is PY saying, have a blessed week. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, on Wednesdays, we have our product expose with Dr. Sajek Kugene. That is where you know we are with Dissect. And Longridge, uh, log in to YouTube, Longridge CIG on YouTube. You get to see our videos. And um, this one will be uploaded too. So like, subscribe, and share, share, share the videos. Thank you so, so much. I got a message from Teko Benson, uh, appreciating all CIG, and he said the program was well packaged. He sent that message to me personally. The video is on the YouTube, and uh, he posted some things on his Facebook, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so please, let's keep doing well. Let's keep doing what we're doing, and in no time, we'll have the reward. Once again, thank you, Honorable Duke. I appreciate it. And our regards thank to the you, family. Thank you, our great um, anchors, EY, thank you. Lua Yomiute, and Simply Seton. God bless you and the entire crew for the good work you are doing. Thank we keep you. it up and uh, we keep pushing. We won't give up. Thank you, sir. God bless you all. Thank, thank you, sir. You.